Hello ladies and gentlemen, Greg's Reviews here. Just doing a quick follow-up video to my previous how to set up G-Sync correctly vid. Uh, it's been out a little while and since then we've had uh, FastSync introduced from NVIDIA which is a fantastic technology. You don't need a G-Sync video, uh, uh, G-Sync video, you don't need a G-Sync monitor. You can use any monitor as far as I'm aware and you get the benefit of FastSync which basically means it goes above your monitor's refresh rate and you don't get stutter, stutter, that's easy for me to say, I can't even say stutter without stuttering, or tearing. Anyway, <laughs> so uh, first things first, let's open up the uh, NVIDIA control panel. As you can see, I've got a G-Sync monitor, so uh, let's set up G-Sync. I'll make sure enable G-Sync is ticked, because I want the benefits of that in, in the uh, refresh rate of my monitor, which is 144Hz. So anything 144 hertz or under, G-Sync does its thing. So, uh, and I make sure I've got enable G-Sync for full screen mode. You can tick the second box if you play in uh, windowed mode and you still get the benefits of G-Sync. But because I always play with uh, full screen mode, I just leave the top one ticked. Secondly, you wanna go to manage 3D settings. So once that kicks in, we'll have a look at the settings we've got here. Again, as you can see, uh, monitor technology G-Sync. I uh, leave that on because that's what I've got. You can change it to ULMB or fixed refresh, but G-Sync for me. And then further down, we've got vertical sync. And this is where a little bit of confusion comes. But as you can see, uh, mine's set to fast already. So let's have a look there. You've got use of the 3D application settings. Basically, uh, I don't bother with that ever. And North, North nor should you. You've got off. Now, if you're a Counter-Strike Go player or a, a high frames per second requirement is a, a must for you, then obviously switch it to off. You don't get any G-Sync technology at all, but you get all your frames per second with no latency. So that's the option if you're a pro player or something. Next, you've got on, which is uh, basically what I used to use, and that would keep it within 144 frames per second for me because my monitor is 144 hertz. So uh, I want the G-Sync to do its thing all the time. Works a treat. Uh, I couldn't notice any latency, but it does bring in a little bit. And uh, then you've got the third option here, which is fast. Now this brings in even less latency, allows you to go above your monitor's refresh rate. So you, if you had a 60 hertz monitor, say, you could go to 70, 80, 90 frames per second, and it still does a similar thing to G-Sync. It keeps everything butter smooth. There's no stutter and there's no tearing. And for me, I can go to 160, 70, 80, 200 frames per second if I wish. And again, it keeps it butter smooth with no tearing. So basically, I set fast sync. You'd have the option down here to click apply, but I've already got it set, so uh, that's not gonna give me that. So click apply down here, close up your app, and then when you're gonna to get to a game, let's uh, choose Rise of the Tomb Raider, for instance. On your options, you have gotta make sure VSync is off. Always any game, make sure the application says off. You know, you might not get this option early, you might have to do it in game, but just make sure that's off. And then uh, G-Sync does its thing and FastSync does its thing. And that's basically it, and that's all there is to it. Hope you enjoy the vid, like and subscribe for more, or dislike if you hate my voice, whatever, I don't care. Anyway, just a quick inf information video and uh, bye for now.